Married to Marquis Celian Thin, Emma Claire McQuiston became Britain's first black marchioness. Emma was born on 26th of March 1986 to a Nigerian father, Oledipu Jedasami, who is an oil tycoon, and her mother, Susanna McQuiston, who is English. Emma grew up in South Kensington, London, and went to Queen's Gate School. She studied art history at UCL and then classical acting at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. She had known her future husband, Celine Thin, since they were children. When Emma's half-brother Ian married Celine's aunt, Lady Sylvie, they would see each other at family get-togethers, but it wasn't till many years later that they met again and fell in love. At the time of her wedding, Emma gained international attention, as when her husband comes into his inheritance, she would become Lady Bath, Britain's first black marchioness. Her in-laws refused to attend the wedding ceremony. Although they gave Celine permission to marry Emma, there was a falling out between father and son before the wedding that was not resolved, so they did not attend. Her late father-in-law was known to be a notorious Marquess of Bath. His home, Longleat House, a 100,000-acre estate, is pretty close to being another Downton Abbey, except there's a safari and adventure park on the grounds. Her mother-in-law was upset with the union, fearing that Emma's Nigerian heritage would taint the bloodline. Despite all this, the couple got married on 8th of June 2013. Emma was a vision in a lace bridal gown and a regal tiara. Emma married Celine Thin, Viscount Weymouth, the son and heir of the 7th Marquess of Bath at the family seat Longleat, and became Britain's first black Viscountess. Her wedding tiara was the family heirloom. The tiara has a three-peak design covered in diamonds. The intricate diamond tiara is composed of ribbon scroll, bow and foliage design. The tiara features approximately 60 to 70 carats of perfectly matched bright diamonds set in either white gold or platinum. The cost of a similar tiara is approximately £500,000. After her marriage, Longleat became Emma's home and she started living there. She was living with her in-laws at Longleat House but maintained a poor relationship and the mother-in-law was barred from seeing the grandchildren, John and Henry. They have two sons, John Viscount Weymouth, born 2014, and Lord Henry Thin, born in 2016. Celine's father passed away in 2020, upon which he became the 8th Marquess of Bath and Emma became the UK's first black marchioness. Some of you might be thinking, what is a marchioness? Well, a marchioness is a ranking that is above a countess, but below a duchess in royal standing. The order goes like this, Duke, Marquess, Earl, Viscount and Baron. When Emma was asked if she deals with racism in aristocratic circles, Emma admits to dealing with both classism and racism. In regards to being black royalty, Emma says there has been some snobbishness, particularly amongst the older generations. She added, sometimes you can feel the resentment. In addition to cooking her healthy recipes, Emma also likes feeding giraffes on the Longleat property. As Viscountess Weymouth, she became a well-known face on TV and in fashion world. Emma took part in the BBC's hit show Strictly Come Dancing in 2019. She's also modelled for Dolce & Gabbana and became a brand ambassador for Fiorucci and fashion editor at British Vogue. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about this beautiful and accomplished Marchioness. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.